let's discuss one more question for the formula of distance let's read the question first find the value of y for which the distance between the points p2 comma minus 3 and q 10 comma y is 10 units okay so in this question distance is already given which we were finding so far distance is already given we need to find y coordinate in the point q 10 comma y so remember we are going to use the same formula distance formula we are going to do reverse method so far we had points and we were finding distance but in this case we have distance and we are going to find one of the coordinate of the points so let's start we know the distance formula we are going to use that one let's start so i have p as 2 comma minus 3 and q as 10 comma y and what's the distance pq is equal to 10 units simple let's write the formula first then substitute the values so pq is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square done so we have value of pq remember don't forget to substitute the value of pq so here 10 is equal to square root of okay x1 x coordinate of p which is 2 minus x coordinate of q which is 10 whole square then y1 y coordinate of p which is minus 3 minus and y coordinate of q which is y that we don't know we need to find it okay so i told you that whenever we have this kind of situation first of all you need to do square on both of the sides so the square root will be removed and we can simplify in very easier way okay so when we do square this will become 10 square and this square root will be removed so what's left only which is 2 minus 10 whole square plus minus 3 minus y whole square simple now we are going to use the identity a minus b whole square and here also a minus b whole square let's simplify now so 10 square is 100 is equal to 2 minus 10 which is minus 8 whole square plus here be careful minus 3 whole square plus here 2 into minus 3 into minus y plus minus y whole square remember whenever you have both term negatives you need to substitute in proper way so 100 as it is square of minus 8 that is 64 then square of minus 3 which is 9 here 2 3s are 6 and minus minus will become plus so 6y then here y square done let's shift this 100 over that side because y square is there variables are there let's shift here it will be 0 is equal to let's write in proper standard form first of all y square first okay then plus 6y then 64 and 9 that will give you what thing 64 and 9 very simple calculation it is yes 73 and one more thing don't forget that 100 we are shifting over that side so it will become minus 100 okay so let's simplify further 0 is equal to y square plus 6y and what's the answer 73 minus 100 that is minus 27 okay so we have quadratic equation with us again in this chapter so let's write y square plus 6y minus 27 okay so we need to solve it there are three methods factorization quadratic formula or completing a square always prefer to try factorization first because it is easy obviously let's start so constant which is 27 so factors of 27 1 into 27 then 3 into 9 that's it another is a 9 into 3 don't interject i told you okay so what i'm supposed to do with these factors i'm supposed to subtract so if you subtract the factors here 27 minus 1 26 9 minus 3 that's 6 now this 6 is very interesting number because 6 is there in middle term as well so what are my factors 3 into 9 
okay now let's talk about this sign because 6 is positive means sum is positive and 27 which is product is negative so any one of them is negative and one is positive so we need to decide which is positive 6 is positive means bigger number will be positive so i can write that my factor is plus 9 and minus 3 let's check it 9 into 3 27 plus minus 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 27 done let's add them plus 9 minus 3 okay we are going to subtract 9 minus 3 6 bigger number sign which is positive so it is plus 6 what are my factors plus 9 and minus 3 now let's write the factors so factors i will be writing first term as it is without power so y and my first factor plus 9 then i'm writing first term without power again which is y and minus 3 is equal to 0 done now i need to take each factor 0 one by one let's start y plus 9 is equal to 0 let's shift y is equal to minus 9 that's my first solution of the equation let's get the another one which is y minus 3 is equal to 0 let's shift over here so y will 3 will become positive so there are two solutions y is equal to minus 9 and y is equal to 3 now here we are not going to think that which of them is correct and which is incorrect we are not going to discuss like that because coordinates can have negative value as well along with the positive let me explain why we are getting two solutions i am repeating this is just for the purpose purpose of understanding so no need to do in exam okay i have point 2 minus 3 let's first of all label so x x dash y and y dash i want to plot point 2 minus 3 so 2 i'm just estimating remember i'm estimating i'm not going to draw the correct value 2 x x is 2 okay it must be somewhere here and y x minus 3 somewhere around here so this is the position of point p now when we put value of y into the point q i am going to get two different points which is q one is 10 and minus 9 in this case and here q 10 comma plus 3 done let's locate this point first of all so let's start with this one 10 comma minus 9 so on x axis i'm going to 10 around somewhere here then q minus 9 so minus 9 will be somewhere here right so this point will give me q value with 10 comma minus 9 done okay now let's plot the another one that is 10 comma 3 so 10 on this line only and i will be going by 3 somewhere here yes that's q 10 comma 3 now why are we getting two different points here because distance is given 10 units so you can have distance in this direction 10 units or you can have distance in this direction also as 10 units so remember that this is the reason we are getting two answers and both of them are correct both answers are accepted and we need to mention that value of q can be 10 comma minus 9 or 10 comma 3 let's repeat the step first of all here two points are already given along with the distance between them but what is missing one coordinate so use the distance formula square for the proper simplification simplify get the quadratic equation solve it and get your answer remember this figure is only for the purpose of understanding